Welcome to my 2023 Run Disney Marathon Weekend 10K experience. Here we go. Okay, this is the night before the race. It's about seven. I'm gonna get in bed now. I have everything laid out just like I did for the 5K. This setup worked out great for me. I do something similar, you know, every time, just based on the furniture available is how I <laughs> lay things out. But I kind of have them in order as I put them on. So I've got my bib. It's the same bib from yesterday. That's why it looks a little used. Bib boards. I only used two yesterday, so I'm kind of assuming I have a similar outfit. So I'm kind of assuming it will be the same. Road ID with all my emergency contact info on it. Body glide I use on my feet and sometimes like on the upper insides of my arms just for chafing purposes, just in case it's like steamy. Chapstick and this is two salt tabs and two pieces of gum. Those will go in my pocket. I have my Gym Boss Interval Timer that I put that on the band of my watch. These are my Powerbeat Pro earphones that's come with me. Disposable rain poncho I bring in the car and if it's wet or raining, I'll bring it with me to the corral. Otherwise, I'll just leave in the car. Disposable mask there. This is my hair stuff to make my running sock bun. And then my accessories for my hair, the light up scrunchie. <sighs> Too much fun. And let's turn it off. <laughs> and my uh, BB Brook ears I'm gonna wear tomorrow. Car keys, wallet. This is my little breakfast I will take to eat in the corral with the plastic bag I will carry it in and then that plastic bag I fold up just like that, stick in my pocket. And it's great for post-race to carry the bottles of liquid they give you, like the power aid and the water and the snack box and all the things. And then I will also bring in the car my own hydration, my noon with caffeine will go in that bottle in the morning. All the things I want to carry to the car will go in this bag. I've got my shoes here ready to go with my socks and my toe separators, which I wear every day. And then my outfit is in the top drawer here, which has all of my racing bits and bobs. Oh, I forgot to mention, I threw one of my, what we call a throwaway layer, so it's a donatable item, um, something I'm not sad to leave behind on the course. Disney sweeps those items and donates them. Lots of people bring those things because you're sitting in the crowd for so long. I have it in that bag too. And if I need it, I'll bring it with me. And if not, I'll leave it in the car. I have all of my outfits divided by in packing cubes, so they're all ready to go. So this is my outfit for tomorrow. I've got all the pieces to that. Skirt, shorts, undies, sports bra, top, all ready to go. I don't think I'm gonna need gloves, but I might throw a pair in the car just to have. In fact, we will go ahead and do that. We'll put the pink ones in my bag now because they can just go in the car. And that is how I'm ready. I'm gonna get to bed. So I'll see you, you know, fast forward back tomorrow. Good morning. Another day, another number K. <laughs> I don't know. It's too early to try to be clever. It's 2.55. I am dressed. I am ready to go uh, for the 10K the Run Disney, well, Disney World Marathon Weekend, day two of my four-day journey into Dopey. My, if you saw the 5K uh, experience, you'll notice a theme with my outfits. I'm going for festive, comfortable with my costumes. Um, so, sticking with the 90s theme, I got all the skirts from the same Etsy place, and I will link them. Um, just a real easy top, has a little neon on it, and then my BB Brook ears. These are super cute. They have little peace signs on them. And yeah, that's, that's the look. The bib is a little worse for the wear, but it will make it through the day. The boards are great. I really like them, with my experience with them so far. And here we go, day two. Well, I forgot my camera. Off to a good start. It's fine, it's, I've got my phone, but it's just so much harder to run with the phone and I don't think it's very stable. I'll just film during my walking intervals. But uh, anyway, apologize that the quality will be different today. Oh well, it's the one thing I didn't lay out. Oh, I'm so prepared with everything else. I even have gloves. It's fine. Significantly cooler today um, and not very humid, so we'll take that. Good running weather. 
Not great sitting in the corral weather, but it's good running weather, so it'll be good. There's a lot of really fun costumes. All right, see you later. This is the people walking in. It's always a good, good way to start seeing that. You don't believe that people go all out with their costumes here. <laughs> Do you see the Mickey Prince? <laughs> and this is the Noelle's whole family. Come on, that's, that's dedication. I'm only here for the cheese shit. <laughs> Pretty. I felt like yesterday they didn't play any like 90s music. We played it today. That's where we're heading. Eventually. <laughs> lots and lots and lots of people. So when you walk in the start area, it has a gear chest for the body and there's some food trucks, policy, entertainment, stand. I don't know, over there. But then if you just want to wait for the crowds, you go to where the big a video or listen to a podcast or something and then I immediately forget <laughs> but it's fun because it's like a surprise like oh I didn't know you're we gonna be spending so much time in Epcot today it was great I'm a little cold now got sweatshirt in the car that's another tip bring a sweatshirt in your car because go away and come back to you um got bag bag is clutch and 
this beautiful day. Yay! Hello! I did it! Look at this! The little acorn. Well, let's see if I can do it properly. Spins! It also makes it rather clingy when it's on, but that's okay. It's, it's too cute. Too cute to boot. I, I don't My hands are like a little cold, so... <laughs> oh, what a fun race. The, I think 10K... You know, I've been back with the Run Disney um, for over, just over a year now, and I think the 10K distance might be my favorite. It's between 10K and 10 miler. I don't know, I've only done the 10 miler once. I'm hoping to do it again, but we'll see. I did stop on the way back and get myself Starbucks. Mmm! I forgot to show you the box. Okay, insert footage of snack box here. Okay, I took the Powerade, not the Sunny Water, because um, I have plenty of my own water, which I prefer. These are my own beverages. Chai tea. That was a nice stop. I also got a breakfast sandwich, which tasted really good after that kind of chilly post-run feeling. Um, they give you a banana, of course. Box looks identical to yesterday. Uh, I didn't eat the animal crackers yesterday, but I still have them. Sunflower seeds are yummy. These are roasted and salted. Uh, we've got the olive oil and sea salt. These were really good, actually. The honey stinger I will definitely save for future race mornings. I don't eat the cheese, but I saw a really funny, I think I filmed a little clip of this. I hope he doesn't mind the back of this man's shirt. Um, he had this screen printed on his shirt and said, I'm just here for the cheese. That made me laugh. I love that. And then actually the person he was running with had a huge like Mickey pretzel thing that they were carrying. I was like, how are you gonna run with that? But, I don't know, you know, people are dedicated. They're dedicated to the cheese and the Disney snacks. Anyway, yes, I won't be eating that, but standard box as of this iteration. Um, I like that they've added this in. That's my favorite ad so far uh, of the boxes this season. Snacky. Anyway, I just, it's also kind of my sweet spot. It's been my sweet spot during training. It's been like hour, hour long runs are just a little bit shy of six miles for me it's more like i tend to do more like five and a half ish in an hour but that's just my comfortable place um and i really like it i get into a nice groove with it i feel good and yeah real good anyway it was just beautiful weather for running it was what does my app say it was um 50 degrees with 80 at an 85 percent dew point so not as humid like just this is my run keeper act by the way i mean yesterday was so different than today so it was like a little chilly sitting in the corrals but then once we all started moving then i felt really good and it's supposed to be kind of like that for the rest of the weekend so i'm hoping beautifully clear the full moon i think the moon is full today either this morning or tonight. I don't know when it technically is full, but it's big right now. And it was just beautiful to run under the moon. And as I was leaving, I tried to film this a little bit, it never works. But as I was leaving, it was like the full moon was setting and it was so big and glowy and beautiful. It was just like, it was a mood. Today's run was like, just a beautiful mood. It was very Epcot centric. I actually posted a picture of this on my um, Instagram. I'll try to show you here. But as you can see, like there was a little bit of road for the first, I don't know, mile or so. And then it just wove in and out and threw out Epcot. And we did the boardwalk, which was fun. And it was just like, it was really fun, right? So miles one and two were all road. But then by mile three, you were entering Epcot and you ran just a little bit through Epcot and then down around the boardwalk which was really fun through mile four and then mile five was back in World Showcase and then it's the typical route for these races to exit at the finish line um, through the rest of Epcot so that was it was really really fun and I really enjoyed really enjoyed the course today it felt very festive there were lots of folks out there's I'm so my big boo-boo was leaving my little handheld camera 
Here, I'll show it to you. I, I didn't put this out last night. That was an error. That was an error. Oh boy. But, uh, yeah. Oops. Anyway, um, won't make that mistake again. It's like when I forgot my um, interval timer one day during one of the races last year, and I was like, I'm never forgetting that again. So sometimes you need to, a little experience of not having something to remember for the next time. But I did my best to film on my phone. I hope the footage came out okay. I tried to film mostly when I was in my walk intervals, so it wasn't too shaky. We'll see what the edit brings, but um, it was fine. I ran, I held my phone the whole time, which was fine too. I just wanted it for convenience. Um, I will look forward in the half marathon tomorrow to having it back in my pocket because I do hold my camera the whole time I'm running, but it's just this like little stick thing. So it's not, it's in its case right now, but it's not like a big deal. Anyway, it was a beautiful run. It felt really good. I felt like everybody was in a very festive mood. What can I tell you? I mean, it's kind of the same same old, same old with the, I left the room at 3 and I was in the parking lot like a little bit after 3.20 and it's the park at Epcot still and then I was in the corral, I was waiting in line for the corrals at 3.40 and then I was in the corrals for, you know, a long time, well over an hour and um, I just sat and had my little breakfast and that was nice and I like bringing that with me now, having the plastic bag is really clutch. Plastic bag, I think I called it a blag. Um, <laughs> plastic bag, I don't know why that's hard to see today. But um, that was all just fine. And then, I don't know, it all went very quickly, it felt like. I was in Corral B, again, I'm in Corral B all weekend, and uh, it just felt like maybe it was a little further up. I don't know. I felt like it was in the same spot as yesterday, like when I was sitting in the crowds, but it just felt like it moved very quickly. And there was, it felt very crowded for the first, like, I want to say two miles, like during that road time. But then maybe I just got distracted during the park time. Also, people start peeling off to do character photos and people start to go a little bit slower. Um, so it thins out a little bit in my experience, like for the second half of the race, which is good for photo pass opportunities because it's you're more likely to get good race photos if there's not like a whole ton of people right around you. Um, and the photo pass people hang out in the parks. Like you don't see the photo pass when you're running on the highway or the on and off ramps or in the back lots. Um, you see them in the parks. And they had a lot, a lot of photo photo people out. I felt like they, yesterday and today, like even more than I remember. I don't know, I haven't counted or anything, but it just, it felt like a lot. Um, so that was really awesome. I felt like today they really went with the 90s theme. I was thinking yesterday during the 5K, like it doesn't feel very 90s in terms of like the music and the video stuff that they put on. Of course, I don't know, I don't pay, I didn't pay that much attention to the videos. They have these like big jumbo screens when they play some like Disney clips and things. They do this pretty much for every race that I can remember. Today though, they really went with the 90s theme and it's like the music was very 90s. Like it, it was just, and even, and I recognized some of the DuckTales show. They played the DuckTales show a lot on the big screens. I don't know, it was just very nostalgic. Uh, and definitely fit the theme really well. I also felt like there was just a lot of creative costumes today. Uh, there's, I mean, people got dressed up yesterday too. I just noticed a lot more elaborate costumes today. Uh, so that was really fun. The characters also seemed to fit the theme. Like they picked ca interesting characters from like, like in the 90s theme and they even had, I saw some of the Fab Five was on the course wearing their um, fun kind of retro outfits too. So uh, that it was just, it was a really fun atmosphere. I always love running through the boardwalk. I know it's a little dicey with how slippery it can get, but it's just my favorite because of the lights and the atmosphere. And there's also spectators there. And it's just a fun, that's a really fun vibe. So I like it when races run through the boardwalk area. I don't know, it was just a really beautiful race. I ran pretty steady at strong pace, very similar to how I've been training. I definitely just generally run slower at Run Disney 
events. Um, first of all, there's just a lot of people to navigate around and I'm also like looking around a lot and distracted. So logistically, I just go a little bit slower, but I, f I was like right on race on my, um, pretty close to, to how I train at home. Um, so it says my, uh, little guy here says that I ran 6.35 miles. So, uh, 10 K 6.2. So just a little bit over and uh, that I maintain an 11 minute 55 second pace. And I held my run walk intervals of one minute 30 run, 30 second walk, just like I did for most of yesterday's race too. Um, but I walked through the water stations, even regardless of where I was like in my intervals. Um, and I did slow down to film and take some pictures along the way. So it, it all kind of makes sense. Um, I didn't look at my splits. They're pretty consistent. I wonder why my mile two was um, so much different. Maybe I was slowing down for some reason during mile two. Oh, it was very crowded and around that part. I feel like the course narrowed. It was like on and off ramps and things like that. Um, but otherwise I, I was pretty consistent throughout and just felt really, really good. And yeah, very proud of myself. Um, I just, such good, such good energy on the course. Like I said, it felt like everybody was very jubilant and happy to be there. And the volunteers and folks, spectators and others just along the side of the course were really great and, and really good energy. And it's always, that just always adds so much to a, any race really is, is the energy of the people on the sidelines. Um, so that makes a big difference. Uh, we're so grateful for all the people who show up, whether they're volunteering or just for fun or whatever. It's just amazing. So yeah, I think that's a wrap on the 10K. Uh, I'm feeling really good. I need to make sure I take it pretty easy today. Uh, just do what I usually do, um, at least lately <laughs> with these Run Disney events, is I'm going to do a like a dedicated running post run stretch now and then take a nice shower warm up uh, probably use my theragun on my feet especially and my lower legs just to keep that all loose if you're like what's a theragun it's a percussion massage therapy tool and i swear by it it helps so much i'll do some foam rolling and i will do some yoga just make sure that my body is feeling good mobility wise and then i will probably walk over i'm close enough to walk to disney springs and i'll walk around for a couple of hours i'll get a nice big meal somewhere and then i'll tuck in early uh, to do it all again tomorrow and i will take a very very salty epsom salt bath uh, before i go to bed because that also helps me a lot uh, but yeah that that's kind of my routine this trip for sure and definitely the the last few that i've done i think this is my let's see i did one two did i only do two in-person events i did okay i did the wine and dine in 2021 i did dopey 2022 i did springtime to surprise 2022 i did virtual wine and dine 2022 so i didn't come here but I still did it. And then um, this is Dopey 2023. So I am hoping to be back for possibly the rest of the events this year. It kind of depends on how things go uh, body-wise. But doing my best to stay strong and crossing that finish line feeling happy and healthy and, and strong and proud. It's just, There's just no feeling like it. It's just... This is why I keep coming back. There is no feeling like that. It, it's a combination of all those things and just the magic of Disney sprinkled on top of that. You just can't capture that anywhere else. I just don't think you can. I'm sure there's lots of races that are beautiful and awesome and amazing, but for me at least, this is my finish line of choice. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna rinse and repeat tomorrow for the half. Hope everything goes well with that and I will bring you along for the journey and I will not forget my camera tomorrow. So um, stay tuned for that if you'd like to see how I get along. And thank you so much for joining me today. Take care you guys and happy running. Here's to an awesome year. 
have run Disney and all the fun ahead. Bye.